Good morning, you guys. Frank Thaim here at Jim Burke Lincoln in beautiful Bakersfield, California. Today we'll be taking a look at the 2021 Lincoln Aviator Grand Touring Hybrid. We'll also differentiate it between the gas version and also take a look at some of its competitors, uh, particularly the Volvo XC90 Recharge and the Range Rover plug-in hybrid. Let's go and take a look. So we'll start out with the front end here and you'll see the first thing you notice is this beautiful Lincoln grille. However, the logos are inverted. This is an exclusive design for the hybrid version. And then you have the blue accent in the logo as well, which is again, the hybrid version exclusive. As you come up here, you have four distinctive lines that go across the hood with this bulging hood. It gives it that powerful yet sleek look. As you come to the side, this is when you realize this car is totally different. You have the blue aviator logo again. Um, and then you have the plug-in port for the charging, which gives it a capability of uh, going up to 21 miles on electric only. These sleek lines continue on through the side of the body of the vehicle, giving it that flying look again, inspired by the flight theme. The name is Aviator. It's just a gorgeous looking SUV. The, the favorite part of this SUV for me is the side profile. It is just a nice stance. It gives it a beautiful athletic look. And as you come around to the back, you see the typical Lincoln LED light that goes all the way across the back of the vehicle. Just gives it a fantastic Lincoln exclusive look again. As you come down here, you have your dual exhaust tips. But, and I just wanted to show you with the third row seat up, you still have plenty of room here. This cover can come up. You can put your stuff down here so it'll, keep, it'll be away from the prying eyes. Also, you can take this out. Now it gives you a deeper well for your suitcases and so forth. And uh, just gives you extra storage capacity. Let's take a quick look at the interior, you guys. You have your bridge of rear appointed leather seats, heated and cooled. Also available are 32-way multi-contour massaging seats, which I highly recommend, fantastic seats. As, as you come to the side here, to the front, you have your dash, which is uh, which has the horizontal lines along with the nice touchscreen here uh, with um, high definition cameras, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, all standard. As you come up here, you have your gauges and it's a fully customizable LED display. You can change the drive modes just like our gas car right here. You have different drive modes, but you also have the EV modes, which are exclusive to this car. Preserve EV will save your battery. It will fully charge it, but save it to be used later. And then you have your pure EV, which will let you drive that 27 mile range that it shows on my gauge cluster right away. Let's go over the powertrain in this bad boy. So our gas version has a 3.0 liter V6, which produces 400 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. This baby takes it to another level, guys. It uses that 3.0 liter V6, but has the batteries and the motor with that hybrid powertrain. It ups the power to 494 horsepower. And here's the kicker, 630 pound feet of torque, you guys. Now, Volvo has their XC90 plug-in hybrid, which they call Recharge. That vehicle prices out about the same as the Aviator plug-in hybrid grain touring. However, they only use a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine in it compared to our 3.0 liter V6. So their power rating is 400 horsepower and 472 torque compared to ours, which is 494 and 630 torque. So big difference in power, same price. I don't see why would anyone would choose the Volvo over ours. Also, their electric range is only 18 miles compared to ours, which is 21. So. Range Rover also has the Range Rover Sport, which has a plug-in hybrid version. Uh, comes with only a 2.0 liter hybrid. You see the pattern here um, and uh, only produces 398 horsepower and 472 torque, 19 miles on pure electric range so again the and because this is a plug-in hybrid suv with a big enough battery pack it also qualifies for 
federal energy rebates, as well as your local rebates, clean air rebates, HOV lane access. These rebates could add up to be between seven to eight thousand dollars. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on where you live and how much money you make. So check them out. It's a great deal to purchase a plug-in hybrid EV, especially the Lincoln Aviator. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. This is Frank Fahim with Jim Burke Lincoln again, and happy selling.